starting five for Nichols. SMU Bandamel off the mark, and Spencer pulls it down. Now, Spencer's dealing with a fractured spine. He has gotten this one out here. Starting five for SMU is Bandamel, Davis, Zach Nuttall, and the twins, Michael and Marcus Weathers. They are the energy, the X factor for this squad. I, I think what Coach did with Nichols to get the enthusiasm of his team. He had play in the play line of in and out. Agunane on the board. Um, off the backboard, off the mark. Rebound to Spencer. Eight-point lead for SMU. Under seven minutes to play here in this first half. Again, Nichols is getting nothing off of their transition where they normally feast. Deep shot rattles in. That's the big ten to shoot. Michelle moves, finds Keys, who fires. Ty Gordon, career high 36 Saturday in a winner take all battle for the regular season conference turn against New Orleans wearing number zero. Raji Lyons has that distance and connects. Backcourt, so much eye focus on the ball and you cut to the basket wide open. Nice look, nice finish. Good start for the privateers. Jackson's got nine. Gordon gives it to Lyons off the glass and in. Same play on the other end, right? In an uncomfortable position. Again, Mushila may, they list him as 6'5", he may be 6'3". Carter picks up his dribble, sends it out. Three ball from Raji Lyons. Nichols basketball to start the second half. Again, trailing by two, 38-36. What's the first, what's the first play out of the halftime? They'll get back up to Lyons. Lyons is going to shoot a three, and he hits his second of the... Terry and Murdix took a step into the lane. Defender did not come out. He was able to drop in the floater. Carter. They get it to Lyons. What a huge spin. Jackson to Keys. Keys the jumper. Won't go. Tipped up. Who's securing it? It's going to be not Mushila. Came out of his hands at the last moment. Gordon with it. Cross court to Carter. Going baseline to Raji. Lyons and a... The big
this year. Devontae Carter after the free throw made, it's 10-9. Rashi Lyons straight away three. Cat three. We roll towards six and a half to go. Colonels nine and one at home this year. Winners of four straight. They have won 19 of the last 20 here at home. Littles hands off Latrell Jones. Top of the arc defended by Darius Lee. Crosses it right to left. Bounce feed to Lyons to size mismatch on Tornoff and uses the right. So McNeese at the line today has really hurt themselves. They are now six for 14 as a team. Ty Gordon bouncing right block, Raji Lyons, his hook shot around and in. Twelve forty-five to go, 54-44 lead for Nichols. Devontae Carter swivels into the lane, hands off Raji Lyons, right elbow jump shot. Three fifty-six nickels, eight and a half to go. Devontae Carter, Raji Lyons, now Ty Gordon out high on the right. Works off a screen, right baseline, drives it, throws it up top to Carter. Over to Raji, right wing three, you betcha! And Colin Warren to double figures, he's got 13. This crowd has grown awfully quiet and anxious. 66-61 with 7.25 to go. Gotta find a closing punch. This team won't go away. Ty slithering through traffic, double team comes, feeds it up top to Raji, knocks down another three. And good off the rim. 5-2 Islanders a minute into this game. Ty Gordon getting the start. Austin Flanch was kind of slowly working him back into the starting lineup after missing four games due to a knee injury. Lions long two far side is 51 to 43 Islanders, 1640 left to play. Lions, top of the key dribble. Looking for Gordon, instead gives it to Spencer. Spencer runs into traffic. Bounce pass down low, Lions. That's a mismatch for Lions as he puts it in with the... Sheila being double team, misses a shot. Littles, the defensive rebound. Colonels basketball moving left to right in their home white uniform. Corpus in their black jerseys with the a and I should say the Corpus skyline across the chest. Ty Gordon, right wing dribble to Spencer, down low Lions. Lions backing in Mushila. Turnaround shot is out of this inbound by the Islanders. They back off of it now as it's Ty Gordon taking it left to right. Gordon angling to the left, now on the left wing. Bounces it to Lions on the baseline, working on keys. Lions nearly lost the ball, righty hook shot is good. A team that has six international players. They got a guy from the Congo, Canada, Netherlands, Greece, Nigeria, and Australia. It's like the United Nations out here. Vacuums in the rebound with two hands. Outlet pass to Spencer on the right wing. Back to Jones, over to Ty Gordon. Ty working right, bounce feed inside. Raji Lyons for a right hand. Or first half in Hammond. Colonels start with the ball, white jerseys, red numbering and trim, the uh, gray trim down the sides of the shorts. Shot at about 46% overall in that first half. Gordon, Jones, Lyons, Spencer, and Carter, the five. Now eight, make it nine threes on 17 tries tonight. They came in as a team shooting at about 34% from three, fifth in the conference. They're too shy of matching their season high from Saturday already. Right baseline, Raji faces up from 12 and rattles home a smooth look. Locked down to five, down to four. Carter in the lane. Tries to pull up. Instead, it's Spencer. Lobs it up. No. Offensive rebound and finished by...
for Coach Klonch and his club. You always see the coaches getting really fired they up. They do. That they play. do. Spread down that bench as well. Inside. Right. Fellow. At six in the first half. Two of seven shooting. They're at afraid. their best. Not afraid to shoot him. Nice drop off. There he is. <laughs> if you're the marquee on the on the loco, you got to play like it. You got to demand the ball. Darius Lee now double digits tonight. That's 11 for Lee at nine in the first half. That's bonus ball right there. Wow. Oh, I'm telling you. Line. This ought to be interesting. Good play again by Myers. Doesn't foul. Just kind of gets in the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. That's, that's the call. Yeah. Three down. Yeah, Yimmy. And look at Wow, the hook. <laughs> Raji Lyons did barely played in that first half. He picked up a couple of quick fouls, and he was out there defensively, and now the Lions lead it by five. That's their biggest lead of the ball game. Good skip pass. Good pass. Lions Rodney. knocks. As the blistering shooting continues for Southeastern. They're up by three. Lions hasn't had much of an impact here. Backing his man down the half hook and he scores. That's one because he's made five on 32 tries this year. Maxwell dips inside, misses. Raji Lions thunder. Ten. T set straight on, swings right wing to Ginty. Fires up a jumper with a foot on the line and misses short. Rebound Terrell. It's Carter. Lobs it down low. Raji Lions another right handed jam. Manny Little's in the lane, double team comes on him. He steps through the double team, misses long, right there on the weak side to clean it up. Five point lead for Nichols. Little's across the lane, shoulder down, floater no. Offensive rebound, Lions back up and in with a righty hook. Three and a half to play. Nichols by 10 with the ball. Basket here, this crowd will be in a frenzy. Devante waiting for a screen, instead shovels off right wing Jalen White. It's Pierce. Off a screen, back to Raji Lyons, right baseline, jumper around and in. He's long as Gordon now on the bounce creates for a shot in the corner for three, and Spencer misses. Gordon fighting for the rebound, keeps his dribble and saves it for another look on this end for the Colonels. Now short corner and trying to back down Jackson as Lyons. He'll one foot fade away, and that Simeon's got to make that play. There's a little bit uh, mustard on that hot dog that time. Inside a minute to go, Gordon with it again in the front court after the ninth UNO turnover. Nichols with nine as well in the half. Down low, the great seal on the, the post player, that is Kirkland, to take it. He'll try to shoot it over the big man, Lions, and another block shot for the best at that in our league as Nichols gets a stop early, and Spencer tries to attack on the other end before pulling it out top. From Simeon, he can't look to shoot over top of him. you got to go to him, face him up, and go around him. Now Lions will try to go at Kirkland, the jump hook, and that's a tough shot. Nice face up. 
uh, next move to counter that jump shot would be a face up and then sweep and go to the rim real strong. Lions didn't challenge you know making them pay. Now Lions in the paint with the feed and the bucket. Oh, so far, but this is really about Southeastern's energy, David, and also their mindset. They just, they've come out aggressively, and you've got to play aggressively when you're playing in a championship and you're getting this level. You came this far. You, you can't leave anything on the floor. Lions have the block on the other rim, and here challenges Hinton and scores. Well, that's what they needed. Well, he's a special player. They utilize his abilities, and uh, they'll continue to utilize him. Lions doubling up the Colonels as we approach the midway point of half number one. Spencer finds an open Lions. Second straight field goal. Well, for the Spencer finds Jalen White. Lions the board. Put back, cuts the deficit to five. Well, that's one way. Talking with his old teammate, Gus Okafor. <laughs> By old, I mean more than one year with all the transfers both these teams have. Raji Lions connects from three. 56 threes on the season. He's been out all week with a knee injury. Now approaching a minute to go. Still don't know if you need a three. I think you can go to the basket as well. You're going to take the three if they give it to you. And they do. He hits another one. And pack of Lions. His length, 6'11", underneath the rim, altering shots. And the offensive board for Lions and put back. Yeah. And 11, but coming off their best game of the season, doubling Dallas Christian 90-45. to Nichols in the road. Reds has the ball first, and we're underway our fourth and final game here in Katy, Texas tonight. Raji Lyons, the big fella. I feel all of it's in desperation. It, it just hasn't been anything easy like you mentioned. Yeah, like that. I mean, it's just an off-balance runner by Glasper, their leading scorer. They're at one for 15 now. Colonel's been able to find their way to the rim. All started with a three for the big fellow, Raji Lyons, who gets the ball in the post, spins by his defender. 31 to six. Well, you mentioned, you know, Ty Gordon scoring, and as this looks a little fast break here. Oh, behind the back, and Lyons able to finish. Northern Iowa to begin the season. If it is those two teams, that's still a fun matchup, even without Ty Gordon. That's long rebound. Immediately a bunch of red around him. Lions gets the tip. Colonels with numbers. Behind the back, Lions the flush. Oh, and all nickels. And they did not wait long to jump out to a big lead over UAW and now nursing a 39-15 edge. Well, they're shooting the ball well. 53% from the floor. But Trail Jones has not missed a shot from anywhere on the floor. Mm -hmm. And their defense has been suffocating. Lions, easy. Morgan looking for hers first field goal. Two tries, no good. And here comes Spencer for the Colonels. Again, Lions. Easy position. Two more. Yeah. Two, two. Conference standings. Does Gordon play them? But but certainly, yeah, I think the decision maybe made major strides and now making you pay, shooting almost 45% from three on the year. Lions will try. Newman, short on the shot, rebound for Jalen White. Gordon, the lead for Lions, trying for his second three. Big time play by Jaden Ivey, the spin move. That's elite quickness, and then the dump off to Trevion Williams, a big time play from a big time player in Jaden Ivey. Gordon has nowhere to look up without a Boilermaker right now. Nice run to the rim. That's a good finish. Something these post players do except well, They don't need to pound to Williams. It. Last time down the floor, he didn't dribble at all. They don't need to play. He's been into the paint in the area. It can be a problem for Purdue. But with their, they're improving with their ball screen defense. And I think it's improving as well at containing the bounce. Lions. Change out balls, but the ball they were using was a little messy, according to the officials. So Lions, with the new basketball, hits his the first made three of the second half for the Boilermakers. They've hit 12. Ty Gordon just a little short on that closeout, and because of that, Jaden Ivey getting a good look and once again knocking down another three. And 
and one up. Ivy is at his best. The outlet pass is there, and Ivy takes it in transition. You see why he's shooting 63% in transition situations. Gets right downhill to the basket. Well, the Beavers are playing exceptional basketball here in the first half. They're going to the rim. They're defending on the outside. Well, they're going to see if they get a charge the other way. No, no call. I thought maybe they... Player of the week, his first career swack honor. You know, he averaged 18 and a half points against Arkansas, Arkansas State and Nichols. Only shot the ball 31% from the floor. So you want to make him a high volume guy. Talented scorer, though, and a coach's son knows his stuff. Latrell Jones, right wing off his screen from Lyons. Drop it down to Raji. Wheels around and a reverse floater with Gary Grant continues. He's got four points off the bench, and it's down to an eight point game. 26-18 Nichols, 11-18 first half. Ty Gordon's back in. Kicks right corner for Huffman inside Raji line. Soft touch from the right block. Kevin. <laughs> There's an Emmanuel Little and a Manny Littles. His name is actually Emmanuel Littles, but they want to delineate between the two Littles, and so they've gone one littler and through the through the wickets. Pulls by four. Devontae Carter to work. Emmanuel Little has it poked free, trying to save it, and he does. Good effort by Little. Oh, all alone underneath. Good find to see. in the second half. There's Neal dishing to Darthur. Time running out on the shot clock. Taken away by Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, another turnover. And that's, it. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what Coach is stressing. The touches, the deflection. Half, since then, he's been a little quiet. Here he's going himself. Unable to find it. Tim Just over the summer, which curtailed his development. But he kind of reminds me of Michael Carter-Williams. In his stature and his and his game, he's got good length, good athleticism. Nice job there by uh, Nichols State Jalen White keeping the ball inbounds and getting rebound tapped out. Jones will bring it across the timeline, or should I, I should say Carter over the timeline. That was a good look there from Mike Miles Jr. Yeah. as well. Lions. Oh, they just let him go, and he's got the right-handed slam. Oh. Nichols at the other end, quickly. Nichols with the ball in the tied ball game here. Well, Penn State to make a stop and see if they can get some offense from their defense. That's a 